Hey guys, so today is Saturday and that means that I have time to do a face-to-face -face video with you all. I can't promise that I can do that every Saturday, but I will certainly, I try, you know, when I can. Um, there's a few things I wanted to talk about today. One is that Johnny Depp has had an incredible post-trial week. Um, on his birthday, uh, which was June the 9th, um, by the way, I wanted to thank you guys so much for the incredible response that I've had to the birthday video that I made for him. I don't know if he saw it, but so many of you have seen it and have commented, and I really appreciate that. Um, there's a few things that I would have done to tweak it, um, but I ran out of time. So, um, But I'm so glad that you all enjoyed it. And... Um, so, on his birthday, Jeff Beck and Johnny Depp released the single, um, uh, Miss Hedy Lamar. Now, this is an original song by Johnny Depp, and it's a beautiful tribute to her. I'm ashamed to say I didn't know who she was before this song. So, I went and looked her up, and she was just a very statuesque goddess in Hollywood. She was beautiful. But more than that, did you know that she was responsible for Wi-Fi? <laughs> um, the, the, the frequencies, you know, that, that make signals jump around. She, she did that. She, um, she, there was someone else involved with her. And I just briefly saw his name. And I don't want to attempt to say it because I'll get it wrong. Um, but, but um, yes, you know, I mean, that was an incredible, especially for a woman of those times. You know, she was much more than just a beautiful actress. You know, um, she was extremely intelligent. I think I read that her IQ was like, oh, it was between 140 and 150, some, somewhere in there, I think. Um, I can't remember exactly, but then the, the tribute that Johnny Depp did to her was absolutely beautiful. And there's one part of the song, um, in the very beginning of it, and um, where, and I'm paraphrasing because I don't remember the exact words, where he basically talks about, you know, the world that helped create you, then disregarded you. And maybe I'm reading too much into this. I tend to do that with things. I'm like a prisoner of my own mind sometimes. Um, but it, I couldn't help but think about Johnny Depp's situation with Hollywood. And how they helped create him. You know. And then they just disregarded him. And um, But like I said... Maybe that's just me, but maybe there's a reason that, you know, that he he made that song. It could just be simply a tribute to her, you know, um, but it's beautiful, beautiful song. But I did, um, I did uh, enjoy reading about her a lot, and I highly recommend that you do as well. But that single is on all of the, the platforms and things like that. This is not my first attempt to try to record this video. Um interruptions and whatnot so it's probably like my fourth or fifth attempt to record it but this is my first time trying to um record this part um now one of the songs on the cd that is uh shipping out july the 15th um coming out that day is and there's a lot of older songs on that cd I think two or three are Johnny Depp originals. Um, but uh, one of them is called Let It Be Me by the Everly Brothers. Now, I grew up listening to the Beach Boys, the Everly Brothers, and, and all of that because my dad was very much into the music of his era. Um, and so we listened to a lot of that stuff. I love the Beach Boys. Um, sorry for the, the, <laughs> the bouncing around. I need to keep my foot off of that light. Anyway, one of the songs is Let It Be Me. And 
although I grew up listening to the Everly Brothers, I had never heard that song before. If I had, it's gone from my memory. So wanted so much to try to learn how to play it. And um, I have a beautiful piano that was given to me that's in the front room. Um, but I have a someone coming to tune it up for me. Uh, 18th, I think. Um, so I'm not using that one right now. So I'm in here on my keyboard. And I've been trying to learn to play to play it. If I turn this up, I think I need to transpose this up some because it seems it feels kind of low to me. And so I'm practicing on that part, but when I sing it, I sing the higher the the higher notes. <clears throat> anyway, um, and then I'm learning the chords as well. So. But I'm having trouble with B, the B flat chord um, because what my chart shows as being B flat actually I don't know why I'm sh that's a that's like a silent okay but no that's that's huh huh anyways so I'm, I'm struggling with the B flat note because what shows on my chart as being B flat, I mean, it kind of sounds right, but it also kind of doesn't. I want to stay around you. And so, and so I think. confused it don't sound right to me I guess it does now it didn't sound right last night <laughs> and so I beg you let it see then that doesn't sound right anyways I'm learning <laughs> I bless the day I found you, I want 
to stay around you. And, whoops. All of a sudden I got lost. <laughs> Each time we meet, love, I find complete love without your sweet love. What would life be? So never leave me lonely. Tell me you love me only and that you'll always let it be me. So I'm learning it. It's really not, oh, it's not a long song. And technically it's not a difficult song to play. But some of the notes are difficult for me to find vocally. Um, all of a sudden, last night I'm telling you guys, that B flat didn't sound right to me last night at all. But now it does. I want to stay around you. And, and so I beg you. That is just so... Does it sound right to you guys? My musically inclined people. I want to stay around you. And so I beg... Oh, maybe that's... Oh. Maybe that's help to help to bring you back down for that next. But see, I can't sing it. When I sing it with, with the song, I sing it in the higher uh, pitch. Like, it's like I sing the harmony part. Uh, this thing is so dusty. I got to quit playing because if I don't, I will keep playing and drive you guys crazy. And this will never end. I'm also trying to learn how to play isolation. Um, the uh, Closer to the version that... Um, John Lennon does it because I, I, I can't do the I don't have the talent to be fancy with it um, so anywho this I'm really ashamed that I've let this get so dusty I think I think that's everything I wanted to talk about uh, right now something may pop up with me later um But yeah, I mean, as far as my personal life goes, oh, oh, I have something called costochondritis. And I mentioned this on my Twitter. Um, it's just been really, it, I developed it in 2005 when my dad passed away. I was the stress of it all. I really thought for a long time that I was having a heart attack. And I made multiple trips to the ER believing that I was dying. You know, I, I was having a heart attack or something. And, but after several visits to the ER, I finally got diagnosed with costochondritis, which is an inflammation in your sternum. And it, the pain radiates around your rib cage, which needless to say, makes wearing a bra really, it hurts. Um, so it's made my, my week taking care of the kids really uncomfortable um it can affect your breathing because if it's bad enough it hurts to to breathe you know when your lungs expand and push on your ribcage for me um sometimes pleuris pleurisy i can't say that word pleurisy 
comes with it, which is the inflammation of the lining of the lungs, um, which makes it real painful. And um, the only thing that really helps um, well is trying to stay calm and trying to not be stressed out. Um, not panicking, thinking that you're having a heart attack. And the other thing are NSAIDs, ibuprofen, uh, and taking painkillers like Tylenol. And that has its own terrible side effects. Also affects my digestion and, you know, makes, I think I have my, I think my ulcers back. Also, just, I'll spare you the, the details, but I just, I, believe that my ulcer is, is back um, because of taking so many painkillers this week to to deal with the costochondritis. Um, it's no fun. I have to take some today because I have errands that I have to do and I can't just lounge around the house in my pajamas, you know, without wearing the bra. So, um, uh, but as soon as I'm done with my errands, I'm going to come back and definitely get this off and put on some lounging clothes. Uh, but yeah, so I've been dealing with that this week. So I've been in a whole lot of pain. I haven't really felt like myself. <laughs> um, so it's not too bad right now because I've taken ibuprofen and Tylenol and, um, uh, I think my I think my sleeping position is having something to do with it too. I'm going to I need to get really uh I was advised to get really good pillows and like a wedge thing um because my pillows have all gone like flat and so I've got them stacked and they're not soft and comfy anymore so I so in the position that I sleep um a lot of times it pushes in on my rib cage and I think that's having a lot to do with the way that I'm sleeping it's really weird the way I sleep it's kind of like if this was my head it's kind of like I'm doing this and it's not good you know this would be like and I, I lay on my side so this would be my side my left side bent up like this and that's not that's probably has a lot to do with it so and I like to lay on my, my stomach too. So, you know, I do that. And so then I'm, if, the, if I'm on my stomach, it's the same thing. I'm bent like this. Um, I have bad sinuses. So I have to have, I have to be elevated or I'll, I swear to God, I'll, I will choke on mucus in my sleep and die. So <laughs> I want to show you guys something. This is just a, this is, I'm going to end this um, real soon. Don't need to make this real long today. My sister sent me this for my birthday last month. It is the cutest thing. It's like one of those Zen gardens. She knows I love the beach. And I haven't been able to get back to the beach, I think, in a couple of years. But she's like, if you can't get to the beach, bring the beach to you. I didn't know these things existed. But it's like a Zen garden, but with sand and these cute, can you, I don't know if you can see them. These cute little, tiny little seashells. Can you see those? <sighs> can you see the, I'm trying to turn it. And it's got this cute little chair and everything in it. Yeah, you see the seashells. And um, so sometimes if I'm in my music room, you know, and I can just move the sand around and stuff and just just kind of or if I'm thinking about, you know, a song that I'm trying to learn or note that I'm trying to play or write. I am actually writing a song, you guys. Do I dare play any of it for you? Where is it? <laughs> Oh, that's terrible. Where the heck is it? Uh oh, my drawer is stuck. It's very odd. It's oh, tell me I didn't throw it away. I do that all the time. I'll be, I'll be writing something. And if I don't like it, it's gone. Why would I throw that away? I had it on note cards. Oh, my God. Dreama. Did I really throw that? Oh, Dreama. 
I worked so hard on that. Oh my God. I might have when I was cleaning up. Somewhere there I have a recording of it too on my phone. But I don't remember what those notes are. Ah, oh, dreamer, dreamer. Did I really throw those? I really fucking threw that. Wow. Unbelievable. Ugh. <laughs> these are all, these are songs I've printed out. I'm trying to learn the Rainbow Connection as well. Yesterday. Yesterday's actually not that hard to play. I'm going to have to let y'all go. <laughs> Yesterday. Oh, that's not right. All my troubles seem so far away. Now it looks as though. Whoops. See? As though we're here. Flat again. Yesterday. See, now I'm wanting to play it. <laughs> Yesterday. All my troubles seem so far away. Whoops. <laughs> I can be playing along really well and then hit a sour note and just be like, like, I want to throw up. Like, what in the world? Yesterday, all my troubles seem so far away. <laughs> now it looks as though they You know, there's something something about me that I really hate. It's hard for me to sing and play piano at the same time because I'm concentrating so hard on the notes that I'm playing that um, I can't. I sing out of tune. in here it's in here my stuff gets like so oh there it is anyway I'm going to let you guys go or I would be in here playing for hours <laughs> literally hours I gotta put these songs back together before I lose them uh oh if you lost you is this? I don't want to lose. Okay. Oh, here's some. Real quick. I found the isolation popped up behind here. I have a hard time with this song. See, I got to get the thing in my head, the rhythm in my head. You don't see him guiding me. That's not right. People will see me got in me. Nope.
I don't have that growl that Johnny Depp's got. I've listened to his version of it so many times that when I play the John Lennon version of it, it don't sound right to me. <laughs> Anyways, I'm trying to learn this one as well. Oh, this is a song I'm learning to you. Well, this is a song I'm writing. I swear I'm going to let you guys go. second verse says um, I want to trust you but I'm afraid too many unkept promises already been made um, you've given me your word and your love is displayed I'm down on bended knee at your feet my fears I lay and then it's can better up here in my head in my head there's all these other instruments coming in you know and but one of the things I struggle with is singing and playing at the same time because I'm, I'm so concentrating on my notes that I'm playing that um I tend to get off key when I sing but that's that's my song that I'm writing and it's not finished but you get the idea. Anyway, now that I've embarrassed myself, I'm going to end this video. <laughs> you guys have a really great weekend. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye. God bless. You guys take care. Welcome to my new subscribers. Hey, look, we're almost at 160. Um, last I checked, it was 159. Remember, when I get to 200, I'm going to do a, I think, a $25 gift card giveaway. So, help me get over 200, guys, and we'll do that giveaway, and then we'll onward and upward to 300. I'm going to get to 1,000. I'm going to get there. We will do this. I will, we will do this. Okay, so, um, you guys take care. I love you. I got to go do my stuff. God bless. See you in the next video. Mwah. Um, I just wanted to thank you very much for all the, um, the, 
the birthday cards and uh, well wishes and the very kind words. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. See ya.